and we're back for more of this shit. For the last time, thank Christ. going to pray the last time. Let's not make it another tubular and we'll be here for 40 minutes. No, I don't think it's going to be another tubular. Oh. Well, fortunately, you can always take the back door to Bowser's Castle and skip like half the levels. Yes. Why Bowser has a back door into his castle is anyway. Yes. Why do we have a back door into the house? Well, we do have a front door too, we just typically do not use it. I am tempted, Barrett. We will defeat Bowser and Larry's six siblings. Fuck. And everybody will just be gone. And Larry will be there alone, wondering what the fuck happened to everybody for the rest of his days. At least until, presumably, the funding to keep that fortress going. Right? And then he's just a homeless bum. He goes back to mother goes back to his mom, who may or may not be Buzzer's sister or something. Living in his mother's basement? Living in his mom's basement, uh, doing, his, doing his thing. Yeah, I suppose you could do that too. I live on the top floor. That's that's great. I would have kind of laughed if I just gently drifted off off screen. Just would have been like, well. I am vaguely curious how that uh, PS2 emulation is going to work on the PS4. I imagine it'll be much like the PS1 quote unquote emulation, in which it's just PSN re releases that you have to purchase again and not actual disc support. Possible. Well, knowing Sony. Well, compare the PS4 and the. PS2 both use x86 architecture, so theoretically it shouldn't be that hard. It's not like they're trying to emulate the fucking cell processor. It's almost like using proprietary software hardware generally doesn't really work out in the long run. I thought the PS2's chipset was proprietary. Kind of. Some of it was, some of it was not. I don't actually know much about the technical details of the Emotion Engine. I do know that the cell processor was server architecture that was actually insanely powerful. It's just that no game developer knows how the fuck it works. Hmm, this is gonna be a bit of a problem. Oh, there we go. Fuck it. This is going to be a bit of a problem. We're going to be here for a while. Or if, until that happens. Well, it's a good thing we made this another episode. <laughs> Oh, there 
this thing is now I'm going to bait to about Nico. Good times. I don't even really want to know what this debate is. Yeah, probably not. Hilariously, the, the Rule 34 site had to leave a note for everybody saying Rule 63 Link and Linkle are different things. Well, I think their initial their initial picture was just here's a here's a a picture of comparisons, and it was just a picture of I think Twilight Princess Link and Linkle, and Linkle was just circled in red, and it just said fucking everything. It's true they are technically different characters, but. And, well, if you want to get right down to it, if you, if you want to look at, uh, if you, want, if you want to look at a female link, you might as well just rule 60, 63. Save yourself some time. The thing that Zillava means is not a female link as such, just a female protagonist that is more than Run. simply a, uh, Damsel in distress. Well, it was a little bit less so in uh, Ocarina, except you know you didn't really get to see what the fuck Zelda was up to when she was off being cheek. Presumably just standing around watching her go a few places. Pretty much, and then the second, like literally the nanosecond she revealed that she wasn't chic, but Zelda, Ganondorf kidnapped her. In all fairness, the disguise really wasn't all that great. No, it wasn't. But the point remains. She did not do anything in that game except for run away and be captured by Ganondorf. Well, run away, get carried away as a child. But same, same general difference. I'm just imagining Ganondorf just sitting there, like looking at Sheik, like this is this bitch fucking serious? He's like, no, no, you know what? Never mind. I'll just humor. Her. How did you see through my disguise? Uh, for starters, there's no fucking Sheikah left, so the arbitrary appearance of a second one. Which is pretty much exactly what Impa says to Sheik in uh, Hyrule Warriors. You, you do recall I am the last uh, last of the Sheik, right? Yeah, and? Did you watch them all day? That's the, uh, the dinosaur argument. Were you there? <laughs> I assume the answer would be, yes, actually I was. Yeah, ba basically, that is kind of about if they're going to have a female protagonist as Zelda, it doesn't really need to be a gender bent link or anything. No. It just needs to be a character that is not Link. Just replacing a Link with the female version feels like a huge cop out in terms of, well, basically fucking. Kind of one of those writing on the coattails of another character rather than being allowed to be its own character. No, well, I suppose technically it does her, but only in in text, in freaking backstory text log form, basically. So you don't actually see it. You are told about it in passing, Yay. so it doesn't really count. Fuck oh, this shit again.
this shit again, but with fireball. Oh. Yeah, that was kind of that. That was not doing it for me. Yeah, it is kind of sort of pandering. I suppose, yes, it did work. Alex is, in fact, dead. So, mission accomplished, Larry. I hope you feel good about yourself. It's probably like, yeah. I was actually going to finally let me go home to my family. Way to make this all awkward and depressing, Alex. <laughs> I haven't seen my mother in years. That reminds me, I still need to play a new Super Mario Brothers U. physical version of new Super Luigi U. No fuck off game. <laughs> and in that moment Luigi realized what was my life all about? Living in Mario's shadow? The answer may surprise you because it was yes. Feather is life. <laughs> yeah, sure. Also, my copy of Go the Golgo 13 movie came today. Hooray. Yay! I love Golgo 13. My favorite animal. I suppose that means I can delete the legally acquired version I have on my sitting on my PC. Yes. I still think really thinking back on it, kind of hilarious that I was actually going to rent it on many years ago when you know VHSs were still a thing for uh, at Jake's birthday party. And then I saw that there was a and then I, I believe I saw Fatal Fury, the motion picture, next to you. I'm just like, holy shit, I gotta rent this. Although, in all fairness, it's, I wouldn't have been able to do much with a newly developed fondness for GoGo -Go 13 when I was, like, 12 anyway. Seeing as how we didn't really uh, get it until they started doing the new series. About my only beef with the Fatal Fury anime is they replaced uh, Joe Higashi's Japanese voice actor over it. They liked uh, Nobuyuki Hiyama's voiceover so bad that they just decided, you know, you're gonna voice this guy from now on all the time. And I have no idea what in the fuck you're talking about, so I'm just going to smile and nod. You know who Nobuki Hiyama is, don't you? Voiced Link, voiced uh, the bald guy in Bleach. The bald guy? Ikaku. The, sure. The guy who had the, uh. What was in fucking Kenpachi Squad? Who apparently achieved Bunkai and didn't want to tell anybody because otherwise, uh. They'd make him want to make him be captain or some shit like that. You'd recognize him if you saw him. He does like stupid grunts, yes. I... In, uh, only in a few games, though. Such as... 
I believe just Ocarina, Soul Calibur 2. Uh, any, any, I believe during uh, the original Smash Bros. because they just reused the, uh, they just reused the base stuff from, from Ocarina. Yes. Get out of here. Yeah, 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 I did. You might as well just fight Bowser at this rate, because it's obvious that I'm not going to be able to do so. You are kind of drunk. There is that whole thing, too. Now, Mario, if you could do that the entire time, I'm wondering why Bowser is such a threat. <laughs> Mario has defeated Larry Koopa in castle number seven. All that is left is Bowser's castle where Princess Toadstool is being held. Can Mario rescue her and restore peace to dinosaur land? Well, well Luigi sure as fuck isn't going to. The answer may surprise you. Mario's standing there doing his, like, his little peace sign, all of a sudden you just hear that cannon fire in the distance and then this <laughs> Bowser in the distance fuck you <laughs> unfortunately the college try doesn't really mean much anymore You need a PhD or a bachelor's degree to get a job now. Even then, you've got better odds with a doctorate. So, give it the old uh, undergrad school try. <laughs> Luigi's just walking through the back door and just Peach is just sitting like literally right there. But apparently the ninjas are for some reason. This is probably the probably the point where they just decide, you know what, all that Super Mario Brothers 2 stuff. Eh. We will accept this into canon. <laughs> Give it the old try. Let's do this shit. Luigi's just like. Bowser just throws one of those giant balls out. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ride back and forth a few times. Here, have some more. It's like Bowser's not even really paying attention because he's looking into the sky like, huh? Kind of thinking to himself, why am I giving him giving ammo to hit me with? Hmm. Probably gonna want to get rid of that. Maybe that's why it looks so distracting. Womp womp. <laughs> yeah, did install a seat. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, I suppose it is a, a little bit more classy than the the kind of sort of rape joke. Well, 
there is that too. It's, it is a clown car. So she is probably down there somewhere. Where is she, Bowser? Uh, I actually don't know. I kind of sort of lost her in the clown car. you like you lose something in, in your couch and you never find it for like a million years that's what happened here all right pause your beat and give back peach well let me just start off by saying mistakes were made along with a whole bunch of, like, Hardy's rappers. God damn it. Ugh. Why do you do these things to yourself? Not... You, you know it is only going to end in anger. Masochism. It's the same reason why I 100%ed Sonic 2006. <laughs> Whee! Anyway. Right. Maybe one of like those uh those like Old Testament kind of saints. That's a little bit more in line with uh, in line with choosing to do that. <laughs> For some reason, I actually thought about buying that again. I thought better of it, though. I still own it. I was like, I know it's only like, it would only be like three dollars, but that's like three dollars to spend at Taco Bell and get basically the same experience. A few minutes of, uh... A few, oh... Well, a few minutes of misery, followed by like a couple minutes of satisfaction, I guess. No, a couple minutes of satisfaction, followed by several hours of shit. Well, maybe not that much shit. If I was at the bathroom shitting for like an hour, I'd probably come out a lot thinner. Also probably dehydrated and mostly dying. Canada, I did all I had. The only fast food place I ate at was Wendy's, and that was basically the same. Pinto beans. Going to avoid that. True. Peach just. Rises out of there for out of Bowser's clown car. Mario, help! Oh wait, you're not Mario. Fucking get out of here! Like music kind of stops and Bowser kind of pops up. Peach is just like, what? What are you doing here, Luigi? Well, Mario said you were kidnapped. Yes. The key word here is Mario. As in, Mario is also supposed to come rescue me. Well, it kind of sounded like he needed help. <sighs> the 
Luigi's just like, you're, you're not actually kidnapped, are you? Yeah, I am. You know, I'm just gonna go talk to Mario about this. No, no, just tell him I'm still very much kidnapped. I'm just gonna choose to believe that there's Bowser's not really actually an antagonist. It's just all kind of some elaborate thing just to keep uh, Peach and uh, Peach and Power. Because obviously if she's being kidnapped. She has to be a. Uh, so there's got to be something, something there. That one Met Koopa is just far enough off screen that I can't grab it. Let's grab that one. Play tennis and they go go karting. You knew that was going to happen sooner or later. Ah! You know, I'm just I'm gonna go I'm gonna go tell, talk to Mario about this. Well, I was just like ask him if we're still up for go karting on Saturday. Oh, no, I think I think we're it's it's baseball tomorrow. Or all those other Mario Sport well No there, there was baseball, soccer. Yeah there was basically actually at this point I think there's been everything. What do you do? Might as well just go for it. I will connect for it. I was quoting a commercial. Yes, and the jazz hands were my response to your quote in that commercial. Fuck you and your bumpity boom cloud car. Honestly, have no freaking idea. For it. There was a time where I might have been able to tell you somewhat vaguely, but that oh. time is long gone. Step in the fire. And said knowledge was mostly just from reading shit about the game. giving me a mushroom in order to survive this might not be a good plan. More drink. Son of a bitch! We're gonna be here a while. I meant that more in the sense of it's going to take a while to beat Bowser. Oh. Because up and up to this point, he has kicked our asses very thoroughly. Well, yeah. I don't know about thoroughly. Really, you only kicked him twice and he once. That's only three. That's. Thoroughly would be us being here for three now. times. Is it three? Oh yeah, I died. I died. I died twice. I'm casting. I'm thinking of the Eggmatic or the Eggmobile, if you wish. And then Sonic stealing the Eggmobile in Sonic Three and Knuckles. 
Get you like later, dude. Was it Sonic 3? It was Sonic 3. Because those are you like bump into the platform knuckles you stand on. Right, it's launch base, so, so yeah, it's Sonic 3. I thought that was very cool, stealing the egg mobile. And then Egg Robo rides it, and then Metal Sonic rides it. Or Mecha Sonic, sorry. That's what they basically said it was, its name was. And the Sonic and Sonic 2 is. Yes. I think. Cloud car has had enough of your crap! You can tell because it's got the angry, angry veins. Well, it's good to know that I have contributed next to nothing in this game. Fuck. Why is the clown car sad? Well, less sad and more like... I love you, Dwarf Mario. Mario's adventure is over. Mario, the princess, Yoshi, his friends... Why is this going so slow? Wait, weren't they on a vacation to begin with? Isn't that the story behind Mario World? Boy, I need a vacation to save me from this vacation I'm already on. Well, Bowser did kind of kidnap Peach. That's true. I suppose if I went on vacation and something like this happened, I would immediately go back to work when I came home and be like, I'm going to take another couple weeks off. Back when Peach had, uh, was not just another blonde haired, blue eyed Nintendo girl. I see blonde hair and blue eyes. Well, strawberry blonde. Not like bright yellow blonde. Banana, banana yellow. So that's like five out of the 96 stages that I actually managed to beat. I'd have to go back through and look at all the episodes, and that sounds like a lot of work. Yoshihiro Nomoto. Shigafumi Hino. Yay, Koji Kondo! Did I say that I have taken like 115 attempts to beat the final stage of Mario 3D World, but you realize that means that I actually beat the entire rest of the game. So obviously I do not suck that badly, but apparently I am just terrible at this game. You Davy Brooks. Literally Davy Brooks, it was Dave with a B after it. See you later, Edgy. We did it. Good night, Edgy. We say say good night, Greasy. We did the motherfucking thing. Let us never speak of it again. Me and my old Luigi back at Bowser's castle. Mario.
Volcano Lotus. They're not Goombas, they're Galoombas. Mega Mole. I'm fairly certain that was a red con. <laughs> you stomp on the data right and suddenly it learns to shoot fire. Spaceballs, the flamethrower! Blarg! Before they decided to retcon how it looked. Fuck you, Rip Van Fish. <laughs> Fish and boo. The big boo. The big boo. Finger quotes. Cat Little Sparky and Hothead who appeared in all of like two or three stages. Better than Torpedo Ted. Koopas, they look like kind of doofy clowns. And then Luigi was there too. Reznor made several other appearances. Did he? In a lot of other games? Oh, um, I think. Yeah, I think he's in one of the uh, new Super Mario Brothers games. Yeah, I could believe that. I can't think of which one off the top of my head, but I believe he is there. Yes. Anyway, Super Mario World. Next time, I don't know, actually. I was thinking, perhaps, something that I'm not terrible at. Sonic 3? And Knuckles? Kind of. Knock, knock. It is Knuckles. Stream over. Everybody go home. Episode also over. You get who people who are actually watching the videos watch more videos.